Hey, you're inside of the Full Court Press right here on KJLHradio.com. I'm Jameer Pierre, and tonight I'm here at the Toyota Center in El Segundo, California, which is the official practice facility of the Los Angeles Lakers. But tonight I'm not checking out the Lakers. I'm checking out their official D-League team, the Los Angeles Defenders. Some of your favorite Laker players have gotten their start right here. So keep it locked. I'll be talking to some of the players, coaches, and checking out some of LA's rising talent, only inside of the Full Court Press. Uh, back in the building. Put your hands in the air and feel me. Uh, Back in the building to put your hands in the air if you feel me. Yeah, felt back in the building to put your hands in the air if you feel me. Yeah, felt back in the building. In the building, the other day I thought, Ooh, law have mercy. It's been too long since y'all done had them smartphones filled with key belt songs. Took a brief commercial break and now we back on the strong. I promise I won't make y'all wait this long. At first, y'all all was like, How long must we wait? Finish your mixtape. The next one come out, son. Finish your album. I drop on it myself in the middle like Malcolm. This frequent in the palms of your hands like I'm standing here next to Jabari Brown of the Los Angeles Defenders. So first, I have to ask you about tonight's game. Unfortunately, you guys did not come up with the W. So what are your thoughts on that? Uh, you know, it's a tough loss. Every time we go out, we try to get a win. And, you know, unfortunately, we came a little short today. This is true. This is true. So you guys actually played them last night. What do you think the key to your success would be if you guys see them again in the future? You know, we just got to keep them off the glass. You know, they got good big men, and a lot of times they get second shots. And when they get them second shots, is when they get the open threes and stuff like that. So on a happier note, yeah. we actually know a few weeks ago that you made an appearance during All-Star Weekend. So yeah. tell us a little bit about that experience. Oh, uh, that was cool. You know, I got to go to New York and be a part of the All-Star Weekend and just play against the other good players in the D-League. Okay, okay, so what was it like actually being there? What events did you take place in? Uh, I just played in the game. Uh, they had a dunk contest and a three-point shootout, but I didn't. I wasn't in either at all. All right, so you see any of your, like, I don't want to say favorite players because at some point you're going to be going up against yeah. these people. So what was it like being in that environment and actually saying, like, oh, man, like, this could be me? Yeah, uh, it was cool. You know, it was definitely a good experience. But, you know, I've got a chance to meet a lot of these guys mm -hmm. before. So, you know, it's kind of like uh, it wasn't the first. Checking out the game, I was looking at your game individually, and I must say, like, you are, like, a hustler. Like, you're everywhere. You just happen to be at the right place at the right time, like, getting buckets, getting baskets. So what would you say is the key to your success, you know, just out here being on the floor? Oh, uh, man, it's out here. I'm just, my key is, man, making shots. You know, it's part of basketball. I'm trying to make shots, man. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to set my team, my teammates up, you know, for us to um, be in the right position in order to get a win. That's what's up. So on a lighter note, I do know, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe you made an appearance during All-Star Weekend. Is this correct? Yeah. All yeah. right, so tell us a little bit about that experience. Oh, man, the experience, the, man, it was good and bad. Good and bad? Yeah, Come yeah. on. No, the bad part was the weather. That was the only bad part, you know. But that's, your, that's, your, that's where you're from. That's where you I'm told from. you was from the East Coast. Yeah, but I've been out here for almost a year now. You know, I was um, training camp with the Lakers, so... So, you know, LA, they kind of kidnapped me for oh, a while. Okay, you didn't got spoiled. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, no, it was real fun, though. You know, um, you know, just to be able to um, be honest, one of the, um, the top D leaguers in the league, um, you know, just to play in the Barclays Center. And um, also, like I, like you said, I'm from there. So got a chance to see the family for almost, you know, almost a year, you know. So that was real fun and exciting for me. Hey, guys, as you can see, I'm still here at the Toyota Center checking out the Los Angeles Defenders. Unfortunately, they did not come up with the W, but as you can see, their fans are still happy checking out some of the Laker trophies and getting autographs. So make sure you come and check out the Los Angeles Defenders. And keep it locked right here inside the Full Court Press on KJLHradio.com. I'm inside the Full Court Press on 102.3 KJLH. Put your hands in the air if you feel me. Ah, uh, felt back in the building. Put your hands in the air.